Oh, well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop U.S. States video. In this video, we are learning about the state of South Carolina. Do you know a lot about the state of South Carolina? Well, you're going to learn some cool facts. Lots of fun. All right, we're going to start off with this question. Where is South Carolina? It's a pretty important question to answer. Where is South Carolina? Here is a map of the United States. Now, where is South Carolina? South Carolina is right down here. This is where South Carolina is on the United States map. This is a region of the United States called the Southeast. South Carolina is in the Southeast region of the United States. South Carolina is on the East Coast. In fact, to the east is the Atlantic Ocean. And there are wonderful beaches in South Carolina because it borders the Atlantic Ocean. There are only two states that border South Carolina. Just two states. There's North Carolina to the north, which makes sense. You know, North Carolina, you know, north of South Carolina. And then the state of Georgia is to the west and to the south. The state of Georgia is pretty huge. It covers both the west and the south. So there's only two states bordering South Carolina. North Carolina and Georgia. To review, South Carolina is right here on the United States map. It's in a region called the Southeast, and it borders the Atlantic Ocean. Hey, did you notice that South Carolina almost looks like a heart? Yeah, it's just like this little heart in the Southeast. <laughs> just a little heart, you know, a little heart. All right, let's move on to this question. What is South Carolina's nickname? All the states have nicknames. What is South Carolina's nickname? And why am I driving in the woods? <laughs> why am I? The sex outside? Am I looking for Little Red Riding Hood? <laughs> All right, so what is South Carolina's nickname? What's the nickname? Well, South Carolina has one main nickname. The Palmetto State. Yeah, South Carolina is called the Palmetto State. South Carolina got that nickname because of all the palmetto trees there are in South Carolina. These trees can also be called sable palms or cabbage palms, but in South Carolina especially, they're usually just referred to as palmetto trees. They can be massive trees. They can get up to 65 feet tall, and they love the warm weather and the humidity, which is why South Carolina is such a great place for palmetto trees to grow. South Carolina isn't just called the Palmetto State because there are a lot of palmetto trees there. It's also called the Palmetto State because palmetto trees at one point actually helped the people of South Carolina in a battle during the American Revolution. In 1776, this guy, Colonel William Moultrie, built a fort out of the trunks of palmetto trees. And what's crazy is it worked. They're such sturdy trees. It made a great fort, and they were able to successfully defend it against the British during the Revolutionary War. South Carolinians were like, hey, not only are these cool-looking trees, but they kind of, like, helped save our lives here, and they were a big part of that battle. They're pretty cool. You know, we should be the Palmetto State. Let's learn more facts about the Palmetto State, South Carolina. Here is the flag of South Carolina. Now, this is a quick quiz. What's in the middle of this flag? 
What's in the middle? You can say it louder than that. The palmetto tree. Yes, of course, the palmetto tree. South Carolina is the palmetto state. In the corner of the flag is a crescent moon. Do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course, we just talked about him, but do you remember his name? Okay, Colonel William Moultrie, guess what? This guy designed a flag, all right? This is what it looked like. Yeah, this is what it looked like. It had a crescent moon in the corner. It said Liberty. Yeah, this was a flag that he designed, and this was the flag that flew in Charleston during that battle with the Palmetto Tree Fort. Then in 1861, they changed the flag to what it is today with the palmetto tree in the middle and that crescent moon stayed in the corner. Wow, South Carolina really is shaped like a heart, isn't it? All right, now let's look at a couple of places on the South Carolina map. Right here near the middle of the state is Columbia. Columbia is the capital and largest city in South Carolina. Then on the coast in the southeastern part of the state of South Carolina is the city of Charleston. Charleston is the oldest city in South Carolina. Charleston is also a big city. It's the second biggest city in South Carolina. It is also the same place where Colonel William Moultrie's battle took place in the Revolutionary War. All right, here's our final question we're going to answer. What is the state bird of South Carolina? Wonderful question. The state bird is the Carolina Wren. Yeah, the Carolina Wren! And don't let the name fool you. Even though it's called the Carolina Wren, they can live as far north as Canada. The Carolina Wren is even featured on the state quarter of South Carolina. Of course, along with a palmetto tree. These cute little birds sing all year long. They love to sing. Do you like to sing? That's awesome. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video on South Carolina, the Palmetto State.